episode of Hypnosis Bernie's Exposition. Joining us tonight is Gianna. Hi, Hello. Gianna. How are you? Good, How's everybody good. out there? Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Gianna. I am a model from the okay. Boston area. Born and raised. Okay. Lost the accent. Okay. <laughs> um, how long have you been doing modeling? I've been doing modeling since I was about 16 years old. Wow. Wow. And, oh wow! What what got you into into that profession? Just something that was inside of me that I needed to do, and I needed to I needed to walk down that path in my life. So. Oh yeah. Um, at the time, what other choices did you have? Other choices I had was to go to college, explore that aspect. Um, okay. In my opinion, I didn't have any other choice than to do what I wanted. So, and what oh, I wanted wow. was. This is what I like most about Jan. She's single-minded, she's yeah. determined, right. she knows what she wants, and she's there together. Yeah. Um, so, what what is your favorite modeling gig so far? Favorite modeling gig so far? Hmm. I mean, they're all up there. I, um, I actually modeled for Hasbro. Um, have you ever heard of the game Clue? Right, right, right. I am yeah. Miss Scarlet. I am the character of Miss Scarlet. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. Ladies and gentlemen, meet uh, Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, or is that is that like the the clue? The clue, like kill Colonel Mustard in the basement with a wrench. Oh, all right, yeah. okay. Yeah. So maybe that was my my favorite one so far. Oh wow. Yeah. Was it was it like a were you in the card or? Were you... Yeah. Oh cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. um what what other kind of uh, geek did you have you done? Um, other gigs I've done, hmm, all sorts. I mean, modeling, acting, promotions, um, fitness modeling, high fashion modeling, runway modeling, oh, wow. music videos. Oh wow! So, music video. Yeah. Which one have you been? Uh, um, I was actually in. It was filmed right here in Boston. It was uh, the Godsmack video, Good Times, oh, wow. Bad Times. Cool. So a lot of local actors in Boston were in. Cool. Is it is it is it really hectic? Is it hectic? Yeah. You mean like is it is it like a lot of work? Cause like doing what I do? No, for the music video because like it, it looks like there's a lot yeah. of work involved for like I mean, this, you, like two if, minute clip. But, uh, if you've been doing it for a long time, then it's really it becomes mindless. If you've done so many productions, um, oh, wow. it, it becomes it becomes natural. Um, it becomes second nature. As with anything you do, you could come to an office every day and. That would right. become second nature. Right. Um, so, I mean, it's not it's not complicated if you've been doing it for a while. If if it's new, it's I guess it could be exciting for some. It could be a lot of work for some. If right. it's new, so. Cool, cool. Um, so I don't know if anybody told you this is a hypnosis show. Um, um, what we do here is we try to solve a problem okay. with hypnosis, and I'm sure you have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what 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 would you like to solve? Um, hmm. What would you like to improve um, in your life? Everything. <laughs> oh, all right. That's easy. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I mean, on on what level? Like a. Um, it could be it could be something that is a bad habit that you would like to overcome, or it could you would like to feel differently about something. Or it could be something that, um, 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 let's see, how like a thinking pattern that, I, that I, have been stopping you? Um, I'd like to work more. As if you are not already? As, yeah, I'm not. Really? I, I like to go, 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 go and do what I love. If I'm not working, I feel, you know, I get depressed and oh, yeah. I, I think it overwhelms me and then when I'm not working, I go on a streak of not working and I need to work to be happy. My work is my happiness, so maybe, oh, that's, wow. a, maybe that's a problem. I need, to, I need to do what I love more. Let's put it down. How, um, okay. How, 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 how is that in like reality terms? In like how, 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 how could it be done? Like what, what do you need to do for that to happen? Or, or how, what do you think is stopping you for that to happen? The economy. The economy? <laughs> oh, all right. 
Um, yeah, join Let's us see. next week for the yeah. economist Bernie's economy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, maybe I need to, I need to be more positive. Okay. I'd say I'm a pretty positive person. Yeah, I feel that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe, um, hmm. Like, how, how, how do you feel that you are not working enough? Like something within me, or? Like I feel badly about something? Is that what you're um, trying to get at? Could be that. Okay. Or it could Maybe be... Maybe I need to manage my time better. Like looking for jobs and that, communicating that, with the right people. How you knew, is, that, is that how you feel? Is the... Yeah. Stopping you? Yeah. Or, yeah. It could be something, you know, emotional. It could be something in your thought pattern, or it could be something that you do that you're not doing. Um, I think better time management. Better time management. Yeah. You're you're pretty uh, you're pretty out there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, being being more more positive and handling my time better. Okay. How how are you handling a downtime? A downtime. Gym. Okay. The gym. When I'm when I'm not working, I'm going to the gym. Um, spending time with my loved ones. Okay. Um, cleaning, laundry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I live for my work. I don't do anything else. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you think maybe managing a downtime could help you up your yes up time? I I feel that you are pushing very hard. Yes. On your work time. Mm -hmm. And if you just keep pushing toward that direction, it's, it feels like you're not pushing into anything. Right. But it, it's like a big sound going off my, in my head when you said, when you're not working, you feel a little bit down. Yes. Do you think that... Not a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, I'm not supposed to <laughs> say that <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe, I'm thinking that you are already very professional and you're doing a lot more than a lot of people at your stage, right? Um, but I guess what is holding you back is when you're not working. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you think you can improve the time or make you feel more content, I guess, when you're not working? Well, like I said, I maybe just focus more on on finding those jobs, connecting with the right people. Um, you know, with every job, you make more connections, and those people refer you to the next job. Um, I guess in my downtime, I could just do more networking on the computer, call a bunch of people, send but out. But that's not downtime, though. Like, what? What's like a Gianna time? Gianna time. I'm taking a nice hot bath. Okay. Bubble bath. Glass of wine. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I actually have a um, a whirlpool. Oh wow! Tub, so it's nice. Oh wow! <laughs> we are all very jealous yes. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's how I that's how I relax sometimes, and I okay. take in the world around me and appreciate what I have, and um, go back on stuff and look forward to stuff and. Um, Okay. It's how I relax. Okay. That's what stands out right now. Okay. And is there anything more that you can do to have a space that is not work related? Um, what so do you, mean, you like can you can get a better perspective of the work. Because when you just spend all your time like, thinking about work, right, you don't really get a perspective. So I'm right. saying that like. The way you can become, you know, more fulfilling of your potential is to get a perspective when you're not in. Maybe I need to work. go on a vacation. Oh right. A cruise. Oh all right. <laughs> to the Bahamas. Nice, nice. <laughs> That's what I need to do too. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, maybe I need to take walks. Um, okay. Quiet walks. Okay. Like I said, I take baths and I, that's my that's my time away. Right. Not on the computer, not on the television, not on the phone, just away, relaxing. So, going to the gym too is, is kind of relaxing. For you. For me, yeah. <laughs> For me, just going to the gym is, uh, <laughs> is quite a lot of work. <laughs> it becomes a pattern, though. Once right. you once you've right. gone, that's I true. actually I actually taught aerobics um, a few oh, years really? ago. So I mean, that's like second nature to me too. So oh wow, what kind of aerobics? Um, uh, strength training, cardio. Okay. Just aerobics classes. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yes. Um, so let's go back to the question that we started ten minutes ago. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you can walk away today. Um, having improved one area of your life, or one thing that you can improve, or the new year. Okay, what, what was your new year resolution? I didn't make one yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Working more. <laughs> um, new year's resolution, let's make one now. Lose five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're the kind of people who love to hate. <laughs> Lose five pounds. All right. So, no, seriously, like it's like make I teach, more money. I teach like hypnotherapy, uh -huh. and I always tell people that you know a lot of times it's like people that have like three you know, three hundred pounds and couldn't stop eating, right? And I tell them no, but like most of the clients coming in will be like you know models that want to lose five pounds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now they don't believe me, but uh, you know, <laughs> it's a live case. Right. What was what was it that you were going to say? Um, make more money. Okay. That's a legitimate one. Okay. That's good. Um, just what what is the one thing that you need to do more to make money? Work. <laughs> <laughs> Like 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 something that you can actually like um, tangible like to do immediately or something that you're not doing. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't know. See, the problem is you're perfect. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> you're too good for this show. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate my life. We need people with problems here. No. <laughs> um, how about, yeah, I mean, be, be more positive. You can never be too positive. That's true, that's true. And even though I try to be positive, I, there's still that little voice in my head, you know, that, that haunts me, like, oh, you're not doing this right, and you're not, that's you're not thin enough, you're not working enough, you're not making enough money, and you're not, you're not enough. There's always that voice. That's true. There, so. I guess just, you know, let go of some of the stress. Yeah, that you're yes. So far. Yes. And let go of, you know, like, I, I don't, I can't speak for other models because, you know, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I haven't been on a runway in a while, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it doesn't fit <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but I guess, like, they hear a lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they, you know, just bounce it off the head, but, yeah. you know, so at some point you want to just let go of those, right. too, right? There's a lot of negativity in the world. Right. So. Right. All right. We can. That, like, that we can do. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> found something. I know. <laughs> Next time, all right? Come Next on with time. a set of problems. <laughs> I'll try. But that's why I'm here, so I don't, I don't, I don't get that's rid of true. my problems. Yeah, it's true. Like, you know, I guess this would be a time for you to, like, think about these things where you don't normally have a chance to think about it, right? Right. Yeah. All right, so um, sit back a little bit. Okay. Put your feet down on the floor. And just look up in the center of my palm. So when I count backwards from three to one, when I reach number one, I would just like you to close your eyes and just let yourself rest. As soon as you close your eyes, I would like you to imagine that 
to a, a warm sunny beach. And you can feel the warm ray of the sun on the tip of your nose. You can feel the warm ray of the sun on your forehead. And you can feel the warm ray of the sun on your eyebrows, on your cheek, on your shoulders. So you're so relaxed and so happy. Three, two, one. Let yourself go. Mm -hmm. Now, Joanna, I would like you to know that hypnosis is not sleep. At no point in this process, you're going to be unconscious at all. You still be keenly aware of your surroundings. It is just like how you feel just before you fall asleep. You can still hear the sound around you. You just care a little bit less. Um, hypnosis is a lot like trying to fall asleep. Um, all you have to do is just let yourself go and relax. And you can enjoy the full therapy experience of this process. It's so great and wonderful. do everything I can to help you and help you achieve all the success in 2009. Help you relieve all the stress that is on the back of your mind and help you let go of all the negativity that may be in front of you or behind you or things or negative things that you have heard that is bothering you and caused. Now in return, we we'll like your cooperation 100%. Just let yourself go. Let's go. Allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper. And just let yourself go. Relax more and more. We would like you to imagine once again laying on that wonderful, comfortable beach. The warm breath of sun. Tip of your nose, the warm ray of the sun on your shoulders, the warm ray of the sun on your elbows, on your fingers. You can hear the sound of the seagull in the background. sound of children playing, and hear the sound of the ocean waves washing against the shore, as you let yourself go and sleep. sinking deeper and deeper into the trance. And so sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. Your eyes and your feet become so happy, so tired. It is as if they're sinking through the chair all the way down to the floor. That's right. And Seven. Feel right. your back and your lower back against the softness of the cushion, going further and further. Five, four, three, two. I would like you to just imagine a wonderful place, a 
in front of you for it. It could be a place you've been to and never been before. Or it could be a place that is totally magic. It doesn't matter. Just allow yourself to step into this wonderful place as your conscious mind becomes open and ready to receive the positive situations and energy to you. Now, you know that you are very successful, very productive, amazing model and actress. You have a great career, a great career ahead of you. We would just like you to use your conscious mind to find all the stress that have been holding you back, or that might be holding you back, conscious or unconscious. Just find those stress and let them go. Release those stress in the atmosphere. It could be in your mind, your nose, your shoulders, or in your body bags. If you find any stress that is keeping you from achieving the best that you can be and totally achieving your potential, just let go of those stress. Feel a warm, radiant ray of white light flowing from the tip of the forehead, down the spine, onto the tip of the fingers and toes. Feel yourself filling up with a sense of confidence, a sense of purposeness, a sense of well management to become that great genre that you are so good at very accomplished, high achieving, high energy. A jhana that is fully self-assured, self-confident. Everywhere she goes, she sees opportunity. Every word she hears, she hears positive words. She will always find herself into great situations, meeting the right people, doing the right thing at the right time. She doesn't have to consciously think of this. Her unconscious mind will take care of it all. And she will be able to perform gracefully whenever she found herself in a place of opportunity. Now I'm going to count from 1 to 10 when we reach number 10 come back to this room feeling great, feeling amazing, all the stress are gone, and let go of this lapse for the last 12 hours. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whenever you're ready. Mm. Feels good, doesn't it? It does feel very good. I need a pillow and a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. We'll talk more about thank this on the hallway. Er, this is Hypnotist Bernie's oh, exposition. Okay. Thanks,